<laughs> Welcome back to No Can Do. Today I have a mid-century nightstand flip for you and I think you're really gonna like it. If you wanna see how I transformed this old piece and gave it a natural wood finish, just keep watching. I got this mid-century nightstand for I think $25 on Facebook Marketplace. Originally I wanted it for my bedroom, but that was before I DIY'd my own nightstands, which I'll link that video here. So it was in decent shape. I mean, the finish was coming off the top and it was pretty dirty, but other than that, it wasn't as bad as I've seen before. There were no giant gouges. Most of the veneer was still intact. I gave this piece a really good clean with some Dawn dish soap, and then I rinsed it all down with clean, warm water. So for sanding, I wanted to do this in the garage and I wanted to attach my orbital sander to the dust extractor shop vac that my dad has, but the connection was pretty poor. So I saw a YouTube video where you can take one of these connector pieces that I think is for like plumbing or something and I'll link it below so you can try it out. And basically it's flexible PVC um, and then you can tighten the band around it and that creates like a really tight seal. And then suddenly you have a shop vac hose attachment for your orbital sander to collect all the sanding dust. My mind is blown and I'm excited. Time to get to sanding. <laughs> After completely sanding down the top, it looked so good. So I moved on to the drawers. You can kind of see there the stain that was on the sides of the drawers and other parts of the nightstand was just so brown. It almost looked like a brown paint and I really just did not like it at all and was really in love with the raw wood veneer that was on top of the nightstand. So I unattached the legs and I just spent a lot of time sanding this piece. I start always with a lower grit sandpaper like 120 and I work my way up until about 320 grit. It's a lot of sanding. I knew it might be difficult to fully sand inside this whole nightstand, especially since I was using an orbital sander. So if you have any connections at Surf Prep, please send them my way. I would love to try out their sanding systems. Obviously my version here is very DIY. But here I decided to use Citrus Strip. Now, if you've seen a couple of my other videos, you know that I do not like Citrus Strip. <laughs> It's hard for me to use. I probably never put enough on and it always just ends up causing a mess. It does do the job, but not all the way. I might have to do it a couple times. Remind me to never use citrus strip again. <laughs> like this is what it looked like after using the citrus strip. There's still some of the finish on there, some of the stain on there, and it's just really messy and like gunky. 
you can either spend a long time sanding, a long time stripping, a long time scraping, whatever it is. There's just, I haven't found a fast way yet, except for maybe a surf prep sander. So again, if you know what I mean at surf prep, I wanna contact them. I was just as patient as I possibly could be. I knew that I needed to be really careful with the orbital sander in order to not bust through the veneer on this piece. And that was my whole goal basically. I just did not want to bust through the veneer. So I ended up having to go through with just hand sanding and using a sanding pad wrapped in sandpaper. And eventually I did find a sheet sander and I got to use that a little bit as well. But again, I really wanna try a surf prep. Once I was pretty confident that this piece was sanded all the way, I cleaned it with some white lightning from Dixie Bell, just some TSP cleaner, just because there was a little bit of residue on there still from the citrus strip and sanding dust and stuff. So I wanted to give it a really good clean before finishing it up. The legs are solid wood, but they're not the same color as the veneer of the rest of the piece. So I'm just putting on a light coat of stain here in dark walnut and then wiping it back immediately. These tack cloths are the best and they are so good for getting off any last little bits of sanding dust before finishing. To finish this piece, I'm using Feed and Wax, which is a wood polish and conditioner made of beeswax and orange oil. And I'm pretty sure there's some carnauba wax in there as well. I just loved the look of this natural wood finish. And so I just wanted to highlight that beautiful veneer with an oil and a wax rather than putting varnish or something like that on top. I really just wanted to keep the natural character of it and look how dang gorgeous that is. this feed and wax you are supposed to apply a generous coat of it um, wait 20 minutes and then you can wipe back the excess and then you can buff it the next day I ended up doing two coats of this in total it also smells really really good I'm just so in love with the wood grain on this piece. The veneer is so beautiful and I just love the pattern on it. Yes, there's a tiny little chip in the veneer there, but other than that, this piece is in great condition. All right, everybody, we just got to 5,000 subscribers and I cannot thank you enough for that. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that red button down below. And are you ready for the big reveal? Here we go. All right, here's the before on this mid-century nightstand. And here is the after. 
I am in love with the wood grain. I think I've probably already said that several times, but it's true and I just love the natural wood finish. This was before, again, you can see the finish was coming off of the top of the piece and it just was not very nice. And here you go after, it's just so smooth. Here's the side before, it's just really brown and you can't see the wood that well. And here's the sides after, that wood grain is just to die for. Let me know what you think of this piece and let me know if you have any ideas of where I should start with pricing it. I am planning to sell this piece mostly because I have finally furnished my apartment with pieces that I have made. And so I don't actually need this, but I'm really proud of this beautiful natural wood finish and proud of the patience that I had for sanding and stripping this piece and just doing it justice. So what do you think I should price it at? Let me know. Thanks again for watching. I will see you at the next flip.